On Sunday, August 4, 2019, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously shared precious time to read from the book about the venerated Lord Mahavira to our fellow Kuan Yin practitioners at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Just after beginning the chapter called Saving Gaushalak, Master reminded us to always think and speak positively. Change the uh, habit, okay, of uh, negative thinking and expression. Make it positive all the time. Even if it doesn't work, you lose nothing. At least somebody hears something positive, next to you they're happy. What for saying some negative things, even when it doesn't happen? So we should just uh, always say something good, hoping it will come true. We don't care if it comes true or not, uh, life goes on. And we'll be happy, yeah, to live the way it is. Master also spoke about climate change and how the spread of veganism is affecting our planet in a beneficial way. Recently, recently, in the uh, last few years, many, many uh, unprecedented heat waves, they kill people in Europe. Too hot. People are not used to it. And so now uh, many countries are very alarmed right now. They know climate change is truly here, has been here already and continue to be here. Even United Nations declare climate emergency. Leaders of many nations do that and try very hard to to think of the way to cup the uh, rising temperatures. It's already rise one degree or one and a half degrees. And it's already like that. Imagine if two degrees more, three degrees, four, five, oh, we are finito. The children of our later generations will be really hard hit. If any parents really love their children and their grandchildren, they should be vegan by now. That's the fastest way. You see, at the moment, uh, not 100% vegan in the whole world yet, but the, the trend is rising, yeah? And you can see the immediate effect already that the ocean is empowered to take in more CO2, and the forests are also empowered to taking more CO2. This is very paradoxical because if it's too hot, how can the ocean even take it in more CO2? Yes, if it's too hot, how can the ocean take in more CO2? Because according to scientific recorded research, when the ocean is heated or uh, hotter than usual, it will emit even more CO2. And this is contrary to logic and reason, that as the climate climbs up, the ocean now is taking more CO2. You understand? It is the blessing of the compassionate energy. Okay, it's a blessing from heaven, and of the humans change into a more loving, benevolent way of life. This is very obvious proof already. It's taking in more now to help the planet, to help humans. That is, no doubt, in response to the uh, compassionate way of life that the humans are in the process of implementing. Very good. Every day I watch, whenever I can, I watch SMTV, I saw the change, I saw the vegan trend is keep rising up. Oh, my heart feels so good, not as good as it should be because I want it faster, you know, my temperamento. Yeah, but, <laughs> but still, it's better than nothing. And I hope people will change quicker for the generations after our generation. So, turning back, he saw the approaching fireball from the compassionate heart of Shraman Mahavira flowed a spontaneous stream of cool, pacifying energy. When the nectar glands of Mahavir fell on the fireball, it subsided. 
the angry hermit was astonished to see his fireball dead, <laughs> extinguished. So he recognized Mahavira as a much greater and more benevolent power than he. So he said, pardon me, O oh, embodiment of benevolence. That is the country of the abode of insects. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah, you have to learn manners. Negative words hurt and make people also angry. If they're not angry, at least they feel pain, hurt. So we should be careful what we say, unless really necessary. If not necessary, keep quiet. If we cannot say something kindly, benevolently, beautifully, then don't say anything. If the situation does not ask for, then save it. Mm. But this ascetic, he was truly very educated. Eh? He was angry then, but he wasn't angry if Gaushalak did not provoke him time and time again and again. He already warned him to stop, he did not stop. So he got angry. But still he has realization within him, he has spiritual education. So when he recognized somebody greater than him, he addressed him so reverently. That is the way we should always do. So this tapas was really very polite and indeed educated spiritually. Mm. You should learn from stories. I'm not just reading to you to entertain you. Every story has some uh, moral lesson to learn from. Hmm? Remember that, okay? And to improve yourself wherever you lack. We are born perfect, but then we be uh, in the world and contaminated all the time, hmm? and it become our nature, second nature. So watch that, okay? Watch it. Try as best as you can. Make people happy. Most beloved Master, a humble and forever gratitude for your gracious patience, boundless love and perfect embodiment of purity, kindness and respect for all beings. May we earnestly practice spiritually and truly learn from your benevolent teachings to be good and worthy citizens of the Golden Age. In God's love, may Master always be in excellent health, protected by the mighty heavens. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.